Brian will give us the emotion having to get it done on the home soil and doing it in front of all those fans there too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always amazing playing in front of the London crowd, especially being like an hour down the road, you know, it's, uh, it's a nice feeling. It is definitely a good feeling. Some of the previous fights you've had, you've had to come through a fair bit of adversity and come back and get the win. This one seemed a lot more a lot more under control by comparison. Did it feel like that way in there? Yeah, like uh, I've always known. I have got the capability to have a nice clean fight against good level guys. Yeah, I just get a little bit excited and I start throwing my shots a little bit too, you know, too hard. I plant my feet, I get taken down. Next thing you know, 40 minutes later, I'm trying to pull out a ninja choke. So, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to not have to go into that well. With that in mind, would you rate that as your, your best all-round performance in the Octagon so far in the career? Uh, I have to watch it back, but I, yeah, I don't know. I didn't get taken down with us, so I, I was happy with that. Yeah, I mean it's been on the goal list for the last three years and shit keeps coming up, getting injured and delayed and whatnot. And yeah, my goal this year is to not have one fight and not be back, well maybe be back next year when it's in London, but ideally before that. So. Any time before next year, London, I'll be happy. As long as it's 2019. <laughs> you got that knockdown towards the end of the second round, I believe it was, was I think it? so, yeah. And uh, I mean, do you feel like if there was 10 seconds left on that clock, do you feel like you would have got the win, or how long would you think you, you might have? Yeah, been? I think I would have got the finish there. I, I, thought, I thought I got the finish, and uh, I looked at it when he went back to his corner, and he gave me the nod to sort of let me know it was okay. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I was unsure whether he'd come back out, but yeah, maybe he was less hurt than I thought. So. He's a tough guy. Uh, make sense for you next? Have you got any, uh, any opponents in mind? No, I, I don't even think at this rate, to be honest with you. I know it's not going to excel my career not calling anyone out, but uh, I guess stay true to myself, it's not me, so uh, I'm not going to do it. Maybe one day I'll be in that position, I, I will be in that position one day to, to call for top fives and, uh, and title fights, but I'm not in that position right now, so it makes no sense for me to slash out and leave out. Have you ever seen you looking at someone from sort of 15 to 10? Yeah, like I want to get, I want to get. That's my goal this year. I want to get around that spot. You know, whatever Fraz and Jack say, and my dad, whatever my dad says, because he's part of the corner team now. So, boring. Uh, <laughs> whatever they say uh, is what we'll do. And when would you like to get back to that? Yeah, August would be nice. After that, as long as it's not, as long as it's this year, we, you know, double the fights for the last four years. Two in a year will be. Pretty, uh, pretty nice feeling. So, yeah, hopefully that. So you got the ice, ice pack on your foot there. How, yeah. how bad? How bad is it? I don't know. It just, I don't think it's that bad. The adrenaline hasn't really worn off yet. It's just a bit of swelling. I was, uh, I did it to myself when he was laying on the floor. I was like kicking his knees, and I hurt myself. <laughs> and in terms, of, obviously, you love competing here mm. in the UK. Yeah. You train over in, in Canada. Yeah. Is, is, is that somewhere that you'd like to get back out and yeah, compete sure. maybe over there? Yeah, I, I'd love to, but uh, you know, May's a bit soon for me. I'm, uh, I'm staying home until I think the day of that fight. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll come back sooner. But uh, the plan was to keep going on about it. The dog's in a bad way. I want to stay here until he's and I dig his hole, put him in the hole, and then, then I go back. Because I'd be really sad if I was away when he dies. I mean, so I'd be upset. Did your dad get nervous uh, when you get that post fight interview after last one? <laughs> Did he warn you ahead of that? Don't be saying anything this time around. Uh, dad, did you hear that? Yeah, he's, he's got a fight pass. I don't think he's listening. <laughs> um, you know, we joke about it all the time. But he, he gives me the most stick, so uh, yeah, it's just I have a bigger audience when I fight, and you know, I'm getting good. But you should hear some of the shit he says. He's talking about doing things, and I'm like, oh, I don't even want to go into it. So yeah, uh, we don't need to go there. How much of a support is you know, we're joking aside, having having your dad yeah. in your corner. Not every fighter has that. Yeah, like uh, I don't want to make him boo, but. That's my hero, really. Like growing up, I aspired to be like him, and uh, I wanted to be a big, strong ginger bully. But I wasn't ginger, so I had to go into fighting. And, uh, <laughs> it's going alright so far. You ain't no good at anything else. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? The heck was in? Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks,